Good morning, it's David Schlothauer here with another Typhoon update on Typhoon Mawar for May 25th on Thursday. As we do take a look at the latest IR satellite imagery, we can see that Mawar continues to re-intensify after the eye wall replacement cycle and after that the eye passed just to the north of the main island here of Guam as we can see here on the infrared satellite imagery, we are seeing very deep convection that still continues to wrap almost all the way around with Typhoon Mawar as of this morning. And this is a sign that it is re-intensifying. The eye looks a little more clear in recent frames. And also, we got more spiral banding features that are very symmetrical around Mawar this morning. This is a look at the latest satellite intensity estimates from the Advanced Dover Technique. We can see that winds are roughly about 127 knots or almost 155 miles an hour. And pressure has dropped again down to 935.4 millibars, which indicates that uh, Mawar is quickly gaining strength from yesterday when it was much weaker, roughly about 115 miles an hour. But now it's at about 135 to about 100, actually about 140 to 155 miles an hour based on the advanced over technique. So this is a look at the latest HWRF model on Mawar. This is again, Typhoon Mawar. Pressure is down to 930 millibars based on this forecast, and it is expected to further deepen throughout tonight or throughout this er, uh, afternoon if you are in Guam. All right, this is past Guam, by the way, but in the Western Pacific, you get the idea with time zone changes here. This look at basically Thursday morning, uh, Thursday early morning or late morning, early afternoon for May the 25th. And we can see 924 millibars and the pressure continues to go down here by Thursday night into early Friday morning down to 923 millibars. And then the system could be quite intense here for a while as it continues to move off towards the west northwest. As always, this is a quick update because I am not on my computer. I am actually at school making this video special since I won't have time this afternoon when I get home because I'm actually going to a music in the park. So I won't have time to uh, make a more detailed uh, video off my computer instead having to use my iPad. So we can see the steering flow pattern with this, the ridge here is off towards the northeast of the system. We also have, again, Mawar right here. And the steering future is like so with that ridge that's helping to push this system along. By the time we go into the next couple of days, there is more stronger ridging to the north. You can see the height line here at 588 decameters. And we can see where Mawar is. So as long as that ridge is in place to the north, Mawar is going to generally move off towards the west, northwest, at anywhere between about 15 to 20, or about 10 to 15 miles an hour or so. Now, we have talked about how this pattern becomes much more complicated beyond the three-day period. And the reason why is we do have these two high-pressure systems. We have a high-pressure system to the east of um, the typhoon, and we have another cyclone off towards the west over Japan and near Taiwan. So you're going to find that this system is going to find itself in really weak steering currents. There's nothing to really pop this northward right away, and it's going to do it really slowly. So we can see here... Um, day four, all right, that's where it is. Day five, it hasn't moved very much at all. It's just crawling uh, off towards the northwest here as it rounds whatever uh, ridge is stronger, which would likely be the one off towards the east. So you get these comp competing steering currents, and this allows the typhoon to really move slow, probably only five miles an hour or less. At very most. So some of these islands here 
like some of the Japanese islands as well as near Taiwan still have to be on the guard here to really look at the latest forecast from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center because this is really a big deal, okay? Um, this could be a strong typhoon and it could just sit around for a while. So, and that's why we'll probably be providing more updates on this. So quickly looking at now how strong this actually is, and it just got an update. So we're at 150 miles an hour yet again on Moir. So it is rapidly intensifying. It went from 140 to now 150 in one update. And the pressure is 930 millibars, as we can see here. The forecast does call for this system to still intensify. Now, while this is Wednesday night, we got to understand this is actually in Pacific time, my local time. So you're going to add a lot more hours to this. So this would be, let's see, 11 a.m. So this would be roughly uh, really early in the morning for the Western Pacific on the 25th of May. And so going forward here, this is still expected to now reach 165 miles an hour by May the 27th. So this is going to become a very, very dangerous typhoon as it transverses the Philippine Sea. But there is some weakening as it gets closer to Taiwan. But again, that really is all dependent exactly how um, the upper ocean heat content is, how warm the sea surface temperatures are exactly. And again, will it upwell that cooler water? That is to be seen. But that is a quick update on um, basically Super Typhoon Mawar for uh, May the 25th, 2023. I hope this video helped you out a lot. If it did, please consider subscribing, sharing this video with your family and friends, and I'll have another update hopefully later on tonight.